Hello everyone, welcome to another weekly vlog. It's Monday. Don't know why I'm so happy, because it's Monday. It is the start of another week, and even though I am still full of cold, we're just going with it, because this just seems to be life now, and um, that's fine. My kitchen is an absolute mess. Um, and I have so much work to do because I didn't get anything done last week, so it was so, so poorly. So today is pretty much going to be just working away, beavering away, and tidying. Honestly, look at this. It actually looks like a student house. Shocking. There's also no milk. No soy milk, no normal milk, so... <sighs> It's a disaster today. Hey team, it's half past four and I've just finished my work for the day. Um, I finished all my uh, Mexico posts that I didn't get a chance to do last week and also my weekly vlog, it's currently rendering and then I will upload it uh, when it's done. And yeah, I'm just sorting out a few invoices and then I'm gonna clock off because I finished the stuff on my to-do list and I said on holiday I would start being stricter with my working hours because I work until ridiculous clock most days and normally it's fine because obviously Joe's not here and I just kind of plod along and I get stuff done ahead of time so I can do other things um but yeah I'm gonna be a bit stricter and I'm gonna clock off because it's my own business and I can do what I want it's a really lovely day I might take Wilson for a walk <laughs> Sausages and mash. Hashtag frozen tea. Yeah, Apart from the mash, did make the mash. But yeah, frozen. Stop judging me! Stop judging me! Really fancy some chocolate, but we don't have any in the house, so I'm making some microwave mug brownies in my gorgeous Den B cups because they're microwave safe and they're going to be so tasty. These are literally so easy, you wouldn't believe, and they take a minute to cook. I might do a recipe on the blog, even though there's loads on the internet, but. This one just really works for me. It works every single time. It tastes so good. Taste it, taste it. If it's hot and hurts me. Microwave mug granny. Yeah. I'm really loving my holiday vlog so far, guys. Um, I'm actually really impressed with it. I didn't think there would be as much footage as there is. Um, so I'm about halfway through, maybe about three quarters of the way through, and then I've just got to add the music and just kind of finish everything off. But this will be up by the time this vlog goes up. So if you haven't seen it, then definitely go and check it out. If you have seen it, then leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to share it with you, especially the Cirque du Soleil bits, because it was so magical. That's dessert in a book. OMG. So I'm on the way to my first spin class uh, since holiday and I'm really scared because I feel like I'm going to be so so unfit. Um, I've had two weeks off with my illness and holiday so uh, yeah my fitness is going to have taken a bit of a knock but that's fine. It's not about what you've lost it's about how you deal with it and how you get back to where you were and then some. I'm aiming to be super super strong now. I'm not um, I have put on about four pounds on holiday which was inevitable because you know I was enjoying my holiday and that's fine uh, but I want to lose what I lost before again and then just get stronger so I can train for my next kickboxing belt that is the next goal so watch this space guys that was really great I enjoyed it a lot and I didn't feel as bad as I thought I would do I really pushed for it um, and yeah, I'm just really happy to be back. That's given me such a boost and the trainer was amazing and he just made me feel great. So I have been feeling a little bit blue recently and he just did his usual motivational spiel and um, yeah, got me feeling absolutely amazing again. So well done Pure Jim. I've just been finishing off um, and uploading my holiday vlog. I'm so excited by it, um, but I'm being picked up to go to the station at half past five and it's currently three minutes past five and I've still got wet hair and no makeup and I'm having a little bit of panic so I'm just gonna have to this is gonna be the quickest get ready ever half an hour guys and you've seen how much hair I've got oh my goodness guys we're here for impossible I am so excited are you excited huge, huge favorite magician quite like the daredevil Jonathan Goodwin Chris Cox is very funny and then they've got a lady as well Josephine Lee <gasps> So we've been given a card that we have to fill out to control Chris Cox. I'm gonna write your name on it. Don't you dare. <laughs> 
that was bloody magical, wasn't it? Really, really enjoyed it. If you can get the chance to go and see it on its tour, you most definitely must. We had people being set on fire, mind reading, some hip hop magic. That's dog wee on the floor. It was just, it was just really, really good. So if you get the chance to see it, then you should definitely book tickets. It's awesome. I'm gonna clean up some dog wee. Joe's gonna make me a cup of mint tea. He doesn't know it yet. Uh, and then we're gonna snuggle or watch a bit of telly and go to bed. End of Tuesday. Morning, everybody. It's Wednesday, and I'm off to see my mum today. We're gonna go for afternoon tea, which will be absolutely lovely. Really nice to get her out of the house. Um, and obviously cake. Hello. So I'm just making myself a coffee and then I'm going to jump in the shower to get ready. Just been answering my emails in bed. Because that's the kind of thing you can do when you work for yourself. Definitely a perfect job. Um, but I've got to take my laptop with me. Still got a bit to do later on. It's not all cake and tea, I'm afraid. I'm thinking about filming a get ready with me today because I've got probably about an hour and a half before I have to leave. So. I was thinking about doing like a vintage kind of look today, like with the red lips and some victory rolls and a little tea dress because we're going for afternoon tea. Um, I thought that would make a nice little get ready with me, even though I've got a tan at the moment. So vintage probably doesn't go with tan. I always think of like super pale with vintagey looks, but that'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to film that for you today. I feel inspired. I just jumped on the scales and I'm nearly back to the weight that I was before we went away, which is very, very exciting indeed. I'm 10 stone five again. I think I was 10 stone four before we went on holiday. So that's brilliant and also shocking because we really didn't eat that well last week because we were both so poorly. And yeah. So I feel like I deserve my cake today. Don't know how it's happened, but I'm not gonna question it. We're just gonna roll with it. So I've literally just finished getting ready and mum's just called to say that her and dad are coming to me and we're gonna go out for lunch in a pub instead. So I'm all dressed up for afternoon tea and I'm gonna go <laughs> and sit in a pub looking like a right idiot. So uh, I think I might have to change my outfit, but I absolutely love the look that we've created. So I think I'm still gonna put the video together. Um, I just might change my outfit maybe or keep this outfit in and then not film anything while I'm out. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but I really like the makeup and the hair. Maybe we could just do a makeup and a hair tutorial instead of a get ready with me. How about that? Yeah? Maybe, don't know, let me know, leave me a comment down below and we shall work it out together. Every time I film, I leave a cup of tea or coffee on the floor and think, oh, it's fine, I won't knock it over, I'll know it's there. Postman's just come, went downstairs to get a parcel and then kicked it bloody over. Ah! From 50s to 70s, this is my outfit of the day. I really like this dress from Primark. I picked it up, wasn't really sure about it when I got it. Um, but actually I wear it quite a lot. I know it's very, very short, but with over the knee boots and thick tights, it doesn't look too bad. But yeah, I really like it. I feel like I, I feel like quite a fashion forward person today, which I don't often feel like. I feel like a bit of a frump most of the time. wonderful I really really enjoyed that mum and dad coming up here and I get to show them all the places um, that I go and I was like oh that's Wilson's best oh that's where Joe plays football it was lovely and we went to a really nice pub one of my favourites and I had chicken carbonara which was really naughty but it was so so tasty dad had a burger and mum had the biggest fish and chips it was like whale and chips and we just had a lovely time like we caught up with each other and had a chat and mum got out of the house and went to a different place because she's just going to the same garden centers and the same places for coffee so it's really nice for her to get out and about and yeah oh, it's so nice seeing your parents and I think you appreciate your parents a lot old a lot more when you're older um, if only I could tell my teenage say itself just how cool my parents are and how lovely they are and how much I will enjoy spending time with them because I feel like and I know it's not just me I think everybody does you waste time with your parents so uh yeah any younger people watching that think that their parents are boring or uncool or spending time with them is awful spend time with your parents because they are just some of the most wonderful people that you will ever have 
It is five to nine and Joe has only just walked through the door from work, bless him. And I'm still working as well myself and just writing up the uh, Cirque du Soleil stuff from holiday, which is so magical to relive. It was absolutely amazing, I can't describe it. Go and read my blog post because it's really, really good. Some really cool pictures as well because you're allowed to take pictures in there. Weird, but awesome. Um, so then I'm gonna cook some tea. We've got salmon tonight, salmon and vegetables and quinoa. And then we're gonna get into our PJs, just watch a bit of TV and chill. Dog poo on the floor. Why is there dog poo on the floor? Oh, so I've been getting some negativity again this morning about how hard or how not hard I work uh, as a YouTuber and a vlogger and it's doing my Sweden, if I'm honest. Sorry that I have worked my arse off for the last five years to turn my hobby into a career that happens to be pretty awesome and you are stuck in a dead end job that you're miserable about and that's why you feel the need to take other people down. For the last five years since university I have been in a full time proper job and working up a career ladder not you know I've not just been sat at a desk it's been a tough job it was a really difficult job and yes YouTube and vlogging is not as hard as being a welder or a physical job or something like that but neither is being sat in an office and having been sat in an office for the past five years I can 100% say that this job is 10 times harder than that job on the brain. Because when I used to walk into the office in my old job, I would sit down and I would know that I was getting paid at the end of it. I was there from nine till five, at five o'clock, I clocked off, I turned my computer off and I went home. I switched my brain off, I didn't think about work anymore. Now when I sit down at my computer every day, I don't know if I'm getting paid for one, and bills need to be paid, and contrary to popular belief, Joe does not pay all the bills. We have a 50-50 relationship. We pay for everything equally, so I need money. And it's also not a nine to five job, as you can see from these vlogs. Yes, I have a flexible, sch flexible schedule, which is really great if I have any events going on, or if I need to go somewhere, or if I want to take my lunch hour at the gym, I can do. But more often than not, my day is not nine to five. It's nine till seven, nine till eight last night, nine till half nine. And that's just what it is. And I don't complain about it because I enjoy it. I really, really enjoy my job. But it's not as easy as people think out. I don't just sit on Facebook all day farting around on the internet. And it drives me wild when people say I don't work hard. And I think the reason why it gets to me, A, because you've got no right to comment on other people's lives, so. And B, I really, really enjoy doing this. So don't try and pull me down. And when you do try and pull me down, it probably like resonates more because I probably feel like I'm not doing as much work as I used to do because I actually enjoy it. Shock horror, somebody enjoys their job. I don't know how long YouTube and vlogging is gonna last. It may keep going from strength to strength. It may fizzle out, I don't know. Chances are I probably will end up back in a nine to five job at some point during my life. But I worked my ass off to get here, so you know what? I'm gonna bloody enjoy it. If you are watching, which I don't understand if you are doing, because why would you if it angers you so much that you would leave such vile comments on somebody's videos? Bugger off, rant over. Would anybody else like a cup of tea? Still backing up the vlog an hour later, so I'm gonna go for a shower and then go to the gym because this is ridiculous and it's driving me insane. Do you want to come to the gym with me? Do you want to come to Fatburn and then go to Spin? I'll give you a choice. You can come to the gym or you can stay there and sleep. Oh. Just me then. It's four o'clock and my blog has finally finished backing itself up. Yes, it really did take that long. I'm shocked as well. So I'm just making myself a coffee because we gotta get through this. We gotta get through this. We gotta get through this. We gotta make it, gonna make it, gonna make it through. Bit of old school garage for you there. I'm gonna have a piece of dark chocolate as well. So I've got some lint salted caramel uh, dark chocolate and a piece of that is 50 calories and it's just enough to subdue a sweet tooth in the afternoon. Well, that was an interesting update for you. I'll see you in a bit. It's quarter past eight and I've just turned my laptop off, so I'm coming up to wash my hair and do a face mask, my cosmetic warrior. 
um, because I forgot I had it because you keep it in the fridge not with your normal beauty products and I kind of forget that it's there and I just went in to put the parmesan cheese back in the fridge and found it so I'm gonna give that a go hoping it will save my skin uh, and then we're gonna sit down and watch some TV I think we've got a Grey's Anatomy which is very exciting and a bit of One Tree Hill I can barely walk today, which means we obviously did some work at the gym yesterday, which I'm quite pleased about, even though sitting on the toilet has become incredibly difficult, as is walking down the stairs. I also went to bed with wet hair, and this is what I've got to play with this morning. I don't wake up with lovely beachy waves, I wake up looking like Wurzel Gummidge, so that's my Friday. Hello, so I got about halfway through filming my video and then my SD card was full because I still had all my footage from the get ready with me that I filmed the other day that I thought I could get away with not taking off. It's bigger than I thought so I couldn't. So now I've got to take all that footage off my uh, SD card and probably start again because I can't remember where I got up to before it cut out. Hashtag YouTuber problems. <laughs> All done, into some comfy clothes, taking the lipstick off, just had a quick sandwich and now I'm going to start editing. And Wilson is helping me for some reason. What are you doing? I'm done for the day, I'm really happy with everything that I've um, done today, really love my video which will be up by the time this goes up so if you want to find out how I write in my teeth then you can check that out, let me know, leave me a like, let me know that you're from the weekly vlog. Um, the Thai curry is looking amazing, it smells really good and it tastes really nice so I've had a little peat, had a little spoonful, look at that. <gasps> yum yum yum, it's nice and spicy, just how we like it. Hopefully Joe will be home soon and we can snuggle in for the night. Friday night in ahead of a very busy weekend. I can't wait. Hello. <laughs> You're so cute. Yes, you are. <laughs> We're having a bacon sandwich this morning and I don't know why I'm bothering but I'm putting it in my fitness pal. Having it on a giant flowery bap. I'm just going to leave that with you there. That is a thing of beauty. Morning everybody, it's Saturday and we're eating bacon sandwiches that Joe made. Joe makes the best bacon sandwiches, that's an actual fact. One of our friends got engaged last night, didn't they? Mm. It was very, very exciting. We saw it on Facebook this morning and we've been texting them and leaving lovely comments. It's so cute, she was flashing the ring around and they look so happy and it was just, oh, it was just really lovely. It's the perfect way to start your day, having some great news like that. Congratulations, guys. So we're off to see the X Factor today, which is very exciting. Exciting. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Babyliss have given me tickets uh, to go and see the last date. I think it's the last date of the Expert Store today. We did have meet and greet tickets, but because our trains are so rubbish, we haven't been able to make it. We would have either got there like an hour and a half, two hours before, and had nothing to do and just had to wander around all lost and sad, um, or have missed it, which we obviously have. So, I'm not going to get my selfie with Reggie and Bowley. <laughs> Sad face. It's sad times. <laughs> but the tour should be really good fun. So um yeah, we're heading over there now. And then we're gonna meet up with some friends afterwards for some dinner and some drinky poos. Very exciting Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> It was entertaining. It was an experience. It was entertaining. <laughs> 
So now we are heading to a bar to have a few drinks because we're meeting our friends Rich and Jules a little bit later for some food at Salita, which is meant to be this really good burger place you've been before. It's on the end. I was just on the end there. Very exciting. <laughs> um, my battery is flashing at me, so if you don't see any of this, it'll be because my camera died. Um, and if that happens, sauce. Cheeseburger spring rolls. My life is now complete. <laughs> Day and I'm off to Crufts, which is very exciting. I'm going with my lovely friend Lucy, who used to be our dog walker, so as you can imagine, she is crazy with dogs as well. Um, and we were planning on going a while ago, and then I got an email from AO.com who offered me a pair of tickets, so it was literally like puppy fate. I'm really excited to go. I've never actually been to Crufts before, so we'll see what there is there. There might be some exciting things to buy Wilson. I'm really hoping I get to meet Victoria Stillwell from It's Me or the Dog, because she's like a legend, and hold a Puppy. They're my two goals for the day. but it was a lot of walking and it was uh we were there for absolutely ages it's six o'clock now i've just got home to say goodbye to lucy and uh yeah it was really really fun there are so many cute dog breeds i fell in love with a little italian greyhound it was like teeny tiny and so skinny and bony and i just loved it um but yeah don't think wilson would do very well in crux at all oh look at your present look at this snazzy collar <gasps> it's tweed all the posh doggies wear tweed. Do you like it? Woo! Auntie Lucy got you a prezi as well, look. <laughs> oh, is that nice? <laughs> oh my goodness. Last naughty thing of the week and then we're back on it tomorrow. Chinese takeaway. Joe's just been to the shop and is forcing me to eat dairy milk fruit and nut while we watch Solace. Lies. <laughs> right, I'm going to end the vlog here. I've got a feeling this is going to be a long one this week. I feel like I've jibber-jabbered a lot. Um, but I've had a lovely week and I'm feeling a lot better. Are you feeling better? I think we're both yeah. getting there, yeah, yeah. definitely, which is really nice because it's been a long time poorly. So I'm going to leave it here. Uh, thank you so much, as always, for watching, guys. It's amazing. Help me sell out the Manchester Arena by the end of the year <laughs> by clicking subscribe if you're new or sharing this video on Twitter or on Facebook or telling your friends about the weird and wonderful world of X Media X's vlogs. Um, but thank you for all your comments and just, just being you. Just want to chuck your cheeks. But yeah, I'm going now. So see you next week. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.